What I want to show you today is how to download and use any of the graphic and logo templates. So when you order, you'll get an email and click on the link in that email and you'll come to a page like this. So what you're going to want to do is download these files and you'll get to a page like this. Just tap more and then go to save to files. And then you're going to want to save this into your affinity designer or affinity photo folder on your iPad and just tap save and then exit out of that. And it may take a little while for it to download. What you're going to want to do is go to your files. So just tap on that, go into affinity designer. And there is the file that we downloaded. It's a zipped compressed file. So just tap on that to unzip it. And if I tap on that to go into the folder, there's going to be a PDF guide and preview files. There may be separate folders for the templates, and then there's going to be a separate folder for the fonts. So if I go into this PDF guide, you can go through there, see what the designs that are included. It'll show you a preview of the fonts, and there will also be links to tutorial videos. This is also a good place to decide which template you're going to open. So this would be delivery two of graphic and logo bundle volume three. Um, let's work on this template number one. So I'll click done to get out of there. Let's go into the delivery two folder and there's our design. So let's tap on that to open it in affinity designer. And what you may notice here is the fonts aren't loaded correctly. These are just plain sans serif fonts. But if we use our text tool, we can tap on that, that lettering right there. And you'll see right here, see how this type is red. It says new rocker, but it's in red and it has a little question mark. That means the font isn't loaded. So what we're going to want to do here is temporarily exit out of this and go here to this little gear icon and then click on fonts and just tap on this little cloud icon here and go to your affinity designer folder. And then here's your fonts folder. You'll see a folder called font install these, and maybe there's like an info for fonts. That's just the info for the font. So you don't really need to worry about that. Tap on the fonts install these. And what you're going to want to do is search for that font that wasn't loaded. And so there's this new rocker font. If you want to select multiple fonts, you can do so that way. I think the other font that was in there was called Syrah and there are multiple weights of this font. So what we want to do is just tap on all of these just to make sure we have all of them available and then tap open and then done. And then now when we go back, the font is in there and there's a few things you can do. You can, move all these elements around. You can recolor them. I'll just show you how to edit the text because you're probably going to want to do that. So go in here and with that text tool, just highlight everything. And then say you want to change your font to something like a sans serif. How about Barlow? So I think that looks pretty good. Maybe we want to change this type to say affinity. And you can also highlight that text, go over here and tap on positioning and your tracking is your kind of overall horizontal letter spacing. So you can adjust that. And the other thing I want to show you is let's just go to our layers here and you'll see how everything's in a separate layer. If we want to change the color of that lightning bolt to say like a red, we can just do that there. So that is how to use any of the graphic and logo templates on Affinity for iPad.